Hey y'all, my name's Jason. I'm a flint napper. Um, I do a lot of work on uh, TikTok, and I'm trying to do more stuff for YouTube. So I've been downloading my TikTok lives and bringing them here, but tick, uh, YouTube seems to throttle them. So this is going to be an Opalite Arrowhead made from a flake from a bigger bigger piece that I broke down, and uh, it's going to be only on YouTube. So. I hope y'all enjoy it. I'm going to try to get some content put out tonight. I've been a little slack, but things have been a little crazy. As things are sometimes. That's Gary. Gary, say hello to the YouTube crowd. Gary gets flint dust on his eyes. Gary's my buddy. And the only employee here at Black Knife Stoneworks. Subscribe! <laughs> Gary makes me laugh. Gary's more for me than he is for anybody else. I don't know. Maybe other people like Gary. I don't know. Hit the subscribe button. So we're going to take some percussion flakes here. shot which is fine at this stage so that flake ran all the way across and took out the other side and we lost a little bit of width but you lose a lot of thickness with overshots so. sometimes good sometimes bad So I'm just cleaning up the edges there and getting that platform ready to be prepared. y'all can see what i'm doing last time i did a youtube video it was just for youtube i was out of frame quite a bit so bear with me this is going to be kind of a quick arrowhead quickish anyway how's everybody doing where's everybody from man throw uh throw where you're from in the comments i like to see like where people that watch my stuff where they live it's interesting to me so we abraded the platforms and now we're taking percussion flakes. Now over on uh, over on TikTok, I'm started getting subscribers, so that's like a monthly subscription to the channel, which is cool. It helps to uh, support our work, and um, I want to do some subscriber exclusive giveaways. So, if you're into TikTok, it's Black Knife 60. I do a lot of live flint nap in there. And that's it. It's the last I'm going to talk about TikTok. So, we kind of got a preform type situation. Got a ash pocket. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to take my shearing tool. And this is just like taking a whole bunch of little pressure flakes. See them? Little short pressure flakes to move the platform back the other direction and to put some convexity on the side we're flaking towards, which always helps. keep percussion flaking so we can get rid of some you could pressure flake it at this point but we'll get rid of some more of the thickness quickly that way the faster we get rid of the thickness the better off we are Now 
Now I gotta get some more Opalite stuff up in my Etsy shop. It sells out real fast, which is good. It's a great thing. So this, let me, if that moved that platform down enough. Sometimes that's all it takes. There we go. There goes some good flakes. Okay. So we still got a little knob right there and really our best bet right there is going to be indirect. So I'm going to do that real quick. That doesn't show up as well. I do a lot of indirect flaking. I don't do as much on camera because it's not as camera friendly as pressure flaking or percussion. But it works really well. I'll braid this a little bit and while I got the indirect stick out take that flake right there uh, mm -hmm. okay so here we have it we got a pretty much ready to pressure flake preform here Pretty thin. Platforms are pretty regular. So let's grab our pressure flaker, which I just made a, uh, on my last live, I made a crescent moon. I really knurled the pressure flaker up. So what I like to do is take this as a piece of crane rail I got from a plant. A little ball peen hammer. And go ahead and Dress up that pressure flaker. Now I do a lot of pressure flaking into my, my hand pad like this, which you've got to have a hand pad when you're pressure flaking, but really the best thing to do is to put it between your legs and use your thighs to, uh, generate the force you need but again that's not it doesn't show up well on the camera so i end up doing it like this quite a bit luckily my muscles have kind of responded to that so i'm able to do what i need to do with the pressure flakes pretty easily just like so. I hope y'all are doing good. Everybody's having a good weekend. Now I'm gonna take my shearing tool and shear back the other way. And I'm going to look at the face and decide what side I want to flake next. So it looks like I need to flake this side next. So I'm going to take the shearing tool and flake away from that side, which brings the platform back in the direction I need it to be. And get the bottom squared away. And that needs flakes that way. So flake away. Trying to do this one in under 30 minutes, so let's see how it goes. We're at 10 minutes right now. It's really taking shape, so I don't see a reason why we can't do it in, in under 30. But, well, let's find out. I'm going to go ahead and flake the bottom. So anything you do with the base of an arrowhead, you want to do relatively early on in the process. Um... This is where you break them, is on the base. That's where you snap them in half. We're going to 
flip it over. Now I have to be careful with this side because see this, this last pressure flake, it ran to here. Okay. There's a nice rounded surface here. The further I push these, the further these are going to run. Now, see, there's a little pronounced ridge here. This one has the real chance of overshooting, which is also why I'm shooting them down at an angle like this to keep them from overshooting. Okay, so that one ran to here. Now that's a, that's a dangerous flake. So we, we either got to slow down and not push as hard. So, or we're going to end up blowing the side of that off. Pressure flaking is about the angle. And a little bit of strength, of course, but. And that started hinging up, which to be honest with you is a good thing because we were going to overshoot that 100% we were going to overshoot that and then we're going to run our line of pressure flakes on that side and hope we didn't overshoot anything. We overshot a little bit right there, but it's not bad. Now, if you dress your pressure flaker like I do, you can use it instead of a shearing tool to shear. And all that does really is it makes convexity on the side that you just flaked, puts the convexity back, and then it moves the platform back in the direction you want to flake. I need to make some more knives and stuff. I have an Etsy store. It's Black Knife Stoneworks on Etsy. I've just kind of lost the drive here in the last few days. Haven't been making as much content. It comes and goes. I'm sure it's you guys out there that do this kind of stuff, make content, and art. Sometimes you, uh, sometimes you kind of lose it. But let's see if we can get it back today, huh? I think making a nice, simple arrowhead will go a long way towards doing that. And yeah, once this video hits YouTube, I'll have this point up on Etsy, so. If you're interested in buying it, if it comes out the way I think it's going to come out, it'll be a $30 or $40 point. The Opalite points typically go a little more than some of the other stuff. So free shipping in the States. So head on over and check it out. It's Black Knife Stoneworks on Etsy if you are interested. May not be that much. We'll see. We'll see how I feel, how I, what I think about it when it's done. really nice piece of opalite don't have much like this anymore this was actual cullet we're almost to the point that i'm going to stop abrading these sides because we are definitely going to overshoot that's looking it's looking good. It's got a slight curve, but that's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I wouldn't worry too much about it. So when you get the flakes to go past center, you are effectively thinning piece so people are always like how do you thin how do you thin well 
The only way to thin is to get them to go past center. If they don't go past the center, you're not doing nothing. Just making it kind of steep. Take some little flakes there. I don't want to take big ones. Another reason I don't want to take big ones is because that's going to make the curve worse. A lot of times to get the curve out, you lose so much length, it's kind of unacceptable. So a lot of times you leave a little curve in the end. I don't know that it makes any difference whatsoever when you're shooting them. If you shoot them. I make a lot of mine into jewelry. That's a nice point. If we can get her to hold together. I think I'm bumping this. Making the camera shake. I'm making y'all seasick. I'm sorry. Probably need a better mount. Just the edge of my leg pad bumping it. Just gonna do some short flakes to shape it a little bit. I'm kind of happy with the the overall profile here. It does have that curve, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about that. If we wanted to get rid of that curve, we could uh, lose about a quarter of an inch off the tip, and it would straighten out. But this one will be an art piece. curious to know for somebody that does like build build these things and test them not really something i do if that curve makes any difference maybe it would like twist it and cause a like when it hits cause a bit of penetration problems i don't know I'm trying to think if i've ever seen any artifacts that were curved i mean there had to be right It's looking good, isn't it? I like it. And we are at about 20 minutes. We're at 18 minutes. I'm trying to keep it at 30 and below. Right now, what we got left to do is notch. So there's our basic, basic arrowhead here, which you could glue to a glue to a shaft and do some work with for sure. But it's not an arrowhead without notches, right? Let's get the base pretty even. And there we go. I don't even know if I need to throw in channel notches on that because that's pretty thin at the bottom. Pretty nice looking point. I'm happy with it. Don't say that too often. Might be a good night to chip a bit, huh? I have been just off the last few days. All right, so we're going to take this. Now, what you got to watch out for when you're making notches is it wrapping on you on the pad. Now, you can put a little piece of leather underneath it, but it's the same basic concept as pressure flake. And you're just going to take little small flakes and then flip it and go the other way.
And once you get in a little ways, you can take some longer flakes in that notch just to, uh, to thin in front of you. I don't know, can I put a link to something in a YouTube description? YouTube's so weird, like would they just make sure I don't get any views if I do that? I don't know much about YouTube. I do know that posting videos with a TikTok watermark is not a good way to get ahead on YouTube. That I do know. That experiment is over. So if you want to see my live napping videos, you're going to have to watch them live. I do wish TikTok would let you get them without the watermark. want to make sure that this notch stays wider than the tool you're using to notch with it seems like common sense but you end up breaking quite a few before you realize that you hit them on the sides it's like playing operation you hit them on the sides you you're gonna break it that may be And that happens, y'all. That's okay. Then we're going to lose the curve. I should have stopped. When that notch stopped, I should have stopped. But I had to push it. It's that one more flake mentality. That flake wrapped around because there was just too much pressure on it. It took off part of the base. And my point got a lot shorter. Okay, let's try her again then. kind of thing's going to happen. This time I'm not going to go nearly as narrow with the notches, but the, um, the point itself is thicker here than where it was with those other notches. So thicker it is the thicker the notches if you want successful notches thicker notch too gives you more chances to recover from like a stalled platform in general harder to snap into okay one more notch there we go now this would be a good hunting point just like it is um it's good and sharp it would also uh, be a pretty good necklace point. So, that's kind of what I do with them. Either one of those two things, or I just sell them as is, and people can do whatever they want. Anyway, 
right, 25 minutes. I'm gonna kill her little corner notch here. I always get excited when the notches start to line up. I love doing this. My favorite thing in the world. Besides my girlfriend, if she's watching this, love you. Y'all, little corner notch area, nice and sharp, under thirty minutes. That's that's awesome. Twenty-seven minutes to be exact. Whoop! Need to get a good picture for the thumbnail. And uh, there you have it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you suffered it to the end. Uh, blackknifestoneworks at gmail.com if you uh, want to email me about anything. Blackknifestoneworks on Instagram. Blackknifestoneworks on YouTube. And at Blackknife60 on TikTok. Evening.